Alright guys, I appreciate all the activity recently on the videos, especially the basic Becky video, that seems to be blowing up, which is really great. Uh, I think we've gotten about 20 new subscribers on the channel over the past month or so, even though I haven't been uploading, which is really incredible. Uh, I really think something can be made from this channel. I realize now too, actually, that compared to a lot of the other investing channels out there, I have a much better pedigree and track record than they do. Uh, I was doing the math earlier today and looking things over, and actually deposits included, I've 3x'd my money over the past year. Just the past year alone, 3x'd my money. And to be honest, most of the time, uh, my holdings were, you know, either biotech, ETFs, a few BDCs, and a lot of preferred stock. And it's not like I was being that crazy, I mean, maybe compared to just a straight-up ETF-only investor, it was crazy, but, you know, by my personal risk tolerance, I didn't think it was that crazy. So today we're actually going to talk about one trade I did. And I call it a trade because uh, I actually ended up getting out of this company much sooner than I first anticipated. Uh, so anyway, we're going to talk about this trade and it's an example of like my style of investing or at least speculating and how that sometimes can run away for the better and for the good. Back in July, I bought a company called uh, Nextcure, ticker NXTC. And I first heard about it, it was discussed briefly on a Martin Shkreli blog post. And then naturally after that I did my own investigation and research, as I always do. I mean, just because Martin Shkreli lists 30, 40 different stocks doesn't mean you actually know which ones will succeed and fail. So, you know, I sprinkled in my own interest and my own perspective and expertise on there. So anyway, I thought that um, this company was an interesting bet. Because most of the time I don't really invest in what are phase one companies. And so for those of you who don't know, um, with biotech companies or pharmaceutical companies, you're really betting on two major ideas with the company, right? So the first is that does their science work, which is determined in the preclinical trials and then phase one through three trials. And also, too, even if it's approved by the FDA, how well they're able to market it. So this company was very interesting. It was a first for me as I, I liked the, the potential of it. And so for those of you who don't know, they were making a treatment for certain forms of lung cancer, I believe. And uh, it seemed promising, but we'll get into that later. So anyway, this is my first time really getting in at a phase one. And, uh, you know, as you can see before, uh, I bought back in July and I was expecting to hold this much longer. But for a brief moment back in early November, it seemed that they really had some incredible results. And you can see the stock spiked from 26 all the way to $88. I mean, at times even 92 at the absolute peak. And you can see here, I got in here at 16, that's almost $17, and this is 17.36, so really $17 a share, and that was a long time ago. It just, it 5x'd, I mean, it, it absolutely 5 x which is a lot more than I expected. Um, and so how I handled this spike at the time was that I first, at the near peak, I took my basis off the table, and so for those of you who don't know, is I took my initial investment completely out of it. And I realize now, like, even though like this is an incredible trade, mo like better than most people will do over their entire investing career, I didn't do it perfectly. And so what happened was they had a, a brief initial announcement that kind of the market reaction to it was that it seemed like it was like just a blockbuster cancer drug, something that was going to do billions of dollars. And it just absolutely exploded to like a market cap, I think of like one billion, two billion dollars or something like that, maybe even more. And then at the very top, I took my basis off the table. I really should have sold it all, and I was thinking about it at the time, just because I've never been in a situation like this with a, like a rapidly successful phase one clinical trial in a company I've invested in. Usually I'm holding them all the way through uh, FDA approval, and sometimes commercialization, but usually just up through FDA approval. Uh, stocks uh, for these biotech companies tend to spike after what people call catalysts happen or you know major binary events phase one two three all successful clinical trials or an fda approval or after you know again good com commercialization of the product so there i found myself like with 5x to my money and i took my basis off the table and then later as more data came out you can see stock went way down it actually is still it still was up after the initial point so it started off at like uh you can see $26, even after the drop, it was at $40, which is still doubling your money, which is crazy. My mistake in this trade was that in a phase one clinical trial, even when the company is looking really exceptional and the product looks extraordinary, in phase one, it still means that it's going to be years before that is that product really sees the light of day. And so I should have taken more of it off. You can see here, I took my basis off the table 
at uh, at eighty dollars a share, which is I think like a, I think it's like a two or three x. And the rest I sold after the drop because my problem here was that I, I was greedy and I held it too long. You know, once a company spikes up to its market cap is actually the expected revenue of the future product, and you're only in phase one and approval, as you can see from this graph here, is years and years away. I should have taken off more of it, but you know, with a three X of my money, it's hard to complain. Um, I could have five X'd it. It was five X at a time. And so that's why I'm titling this video, how I five X my money, because I invested in a stock early and I got my investment up to five X. Now didn't sell at the right times. And usually after news like this, they hold up really well. But you know, this is an example of a trade that is so extraordinary that it won't happen very often, but it's kind of like the holy grail in biotech minus the drop off afterwards. So there's a lot that went into this, like number one, how do you identify which companies have potential? I don't like to really look at which biotech companies are in the, the you know, the preclinical phase one area. Like there's, there's too much uncertainty. Phase two and on, then you kind of know what they're about and how well it does. Obviously, there's still a lot that can be discovered, but you get a much better idea. So after years of reading and studying and, and all that, um, I'm developing a much, much better feel for biotech investing. And I can just see it in this. Like, I never would have ever pulled off uh, an investment or a trade like this five years ago. And uh, that's the power of, I know it's the hardest way to invest. I know it's a lot easier to be excited about Tesla and weed, st weed stocks, but this is where, you know, you do crazy things where even if you're holding a bunch of preferred stocks and ETFs, you can still 3x your portfolio on this stuff. So there's not enough time today to explain how to value a clinical trial, how to value biotech, how do you speculate on this, but I wanted to go over a trade that really establishes my credibility that, you know, I'm involved in these things. I don't talk about them. I, and again, I'm just talking about what I did and this is all in the past. So I sold out of this one completely. And there's no way for you guys to necessarily copy it. All I'm doing is just documenting my trading history. I'm not recommending any strategies or anything like that. I'm just saying what's working for me. So, you know, more broadly, this is a pat on myself on the back for really learning the clinical trial process and uh, biotech gene therapy. And things are looking great. Like I said, 3x my portfolio over the past year. And uh, if you guys are more interested in learning about my investing style, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, and also, I'm curious too, what's your guys' uh, greatest investment or trade ever? That's what I really want to see. I think this one has the potential to be one of the best trades, at least for me, ever. I don't know if I'll ever get something like this again, or really even better than probably what most people have ever even seen. We're talking about like a four month time span, 3xing your money. Absolutely insane. Anyway, like I said before, I appreciate all the new comments and uh, interest in the channel. I hope to bring you more content in the future. That's all for now.